I'd say Pats. Yeah, he's done really well for them actually since coming back from Newcastle. He's been a really good player. I think this is probably the best side he's been involved in as well, so it's good to see for, from his point of view that he's dead loyal with St. Pats and they're, they're building up a good squad. Pats, incidentally, you may have seen drawn away to Cork City in the FAI Cup. Here's Dylan Watts, picked up a brilliant position. It's Mandrew who's in, and he scores as he did an in Inchicore back in May. Well, that's the first moment from either side of real incision. One lovely ball to Dylan Watts, who unselfishly looked left, and an unerring finish from Danny Mandrew. Shamrock Rovers 1, St. Patrick's Athletic nil. Again, they've opened up Pats through the middle. They've gapped them a little bit. It's a ball through. It's a wonderful way to pass before Mandrew comes on and slots a wonderful finish into the far corner. Wraps his foot round and no chance for the goalkeeper. It's a wonderful goal. Been very quiet, Mandrew, but then he just pops up with a great finish. Such a confident finish from Danny Mandrew. Very late winner up in Drogheda. He's got a cracker against Dundalk as well. And that's a big breakthrough goal here, more or less right on the half hour mark. Yeah, and it's probably it's only the second time this season that they've been ahead of St. Pat's. Obviously, when Mand Mandroyo scores the goal, there, another. Oh, there might be another one here. Richie Tao at full stretch just couldn't control the header. Great ball from the left from Rory Gaffney, who was set. Looking to try and get in a half time, just one goal down, hopefully, and have a go off it in the second half. Here's Finn. Slips away from the challenge of McClelland. Good looking ball in as well. And the header, oh, just wide. He almost had a second. Danny Mandrew. What a ball in from Ronan Finn. Yeah, Ronan. Standing over the delivery. As Pats look to find a route to a leveller. King looking for a little flick on. Came off Sam Bone in the end, but maybe came at him a little unexpectedly, a little quick, and couldn't get the purchase. Where it looks like Mandroyu looks like he wants to maybe shape it a little bit more. Big wall to try and work its way over. He's gone straight into it. Here is Watson, the follow-up. Left-footed volley off target. Didn't have much room. The three around it here for St. Pat's. Into first half stoppage time. Now, what do they fancy here? Forrester has vacated the scene. It's John Mountney to put his boot through it. There's the equaliser. John Mountney scores in Tala. In first half stoppage time, it, Alan Mann is beaten. Did it take a nick on the way through? Yeah, it's definitely hit someone on the side of the wall because Alan's planted. I was surprised because he didn't, he didn't look interested in hearing it. And then he, he, he takes an extra step back and just puts his lace through it. But it definitely nicks off someone on the outside of the wall and it goes past Alan. And that's what we we're saying about the zip on the pitch. It just hits the surface and flies into the far corner. Well, this will clear it up for us. Went for power, a little nick off the back of the last man on the wall, Dylan Watts, I think it was. And that gave Manus a problem. Manus draws in Benson, works it out to O'Neill. And time on this left-hand side now for Grace, who can step towards halfway. Mandrew. Finn, well advanced on that right-hand side again. Mandrew, just for a second, looking in his direction. McClellan tucked in to give Desmond a little hand with Richie Towell in there. O'Brien. And now O'Neill. Watts. Puts it over the top for the run of Mandrew. Clever little flick on. Gaffney's in. Gaffney! Last ditch defending. Denies Rory Gaffney. It's a great little ball. Put a leg on it, it's gone out for a corner kick. And the Rovers fans in the stand behind the goal, hoping this is the moment where they go back in front. It's Dylan Watts, Gaffney in and around, Vitislav Yaros, movement by scales towards the near post, and attacked and touched in. He's done it, Roberto Lopez. Great header. Rovers back in front. He's a, he's a really, really good player. Ball swung in, Lopez in the thick of it again. Rovers appealing for a penalty. Referee waves it away, Forrester takes it away and looks to drop one forward for Dara Burns. Finn wins the header, Scales hooks it on. Here's Lewis. Pats with those players who can pick the passes forward. Rovers having to be vigilant on the turnover of possession. Yeah, Pats looked a, li look 
a little bit more dangerous on the break in that in that sense. But Shamrock Rovers done well to get bodies back. But like you said, is if they can get Forrester on the ball as much as they can, he's got he's gonna start causing trouble. Dara Burns cutting in. Oh, Dara Burns, only a whisker away. In off the right hand side on his left foot. Doesn't matter. Dara Burns still a teenager. And a regular starter, as we said, in these league games over the last couple of months. Yeah, he's been really impressive tonight, in fairness to him. And fair play to him. He's, he's shown a lot of courage to, to, to go and even go at. He's going at sort of experienced defenders here. Tal lifts it in. Mandrew. Oh, he had the run on John Mountney. It was awkward for Mountney. Backpedalling, you know, Mandrew. The pressure is coming. The leap is coming. Pats could be in trouble. But it was good pressure from Pats to stop them getting out, in fairness. Forrester and Benson and Lewis all involved there, but Joey O'Brien puts an end to it. And there's that out ball for Gaffney. Pushed back by Desmond. Oh, he's bided his time and picked an excellent pass, Rory Gaffney. Watts and Mandrew's in again. Big moment, there's a chance. And he's finished it. Yaros got fingertips to it, but couldn't keep it out. It's two for Danny Mandrew. It's three for Shamrock Rovers. And they've taken a real grip on this top of the table. Fixture now, 20 minutes to go. Shamrock Rovers 3, St. Patrick's Athletic 1. Yeah, and he's taking it so well, so calm. But that's what we're talking about. St. Pat's are pushing bodies forward. They're leaving a 1v1 at the back. They flick it through for Gaffney. Gaffney, a fantastic ball to Watts. And that's a wonderful weighted ball from Dylan Watts. That's two assists he has today. And both for Danny Mandroyu. And it's a great finish. Well, yeah. Forrester. But uh, 20 yards to his right, Richie Tull keeping an eye on that. Tull sprinting to try and get to Forrester now. Lovely little dummy from Forrester, left-footed efforts. Comfortably taken on his line by Alan Manis. Yeah, just bounced up in front of Alan and he's...